Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so I figured I'd do a quick one on ears. Ears are the most complex part of the head, and they can be a little bit confusing to sculpt sometimes. So, right here in my scene, I just have the uh, general shape of a head, and I'm just going to insert a sphere right about where the ears would go. And then I'm going to use my transpose line to flatten it out into a disc shape like that and then I'll just uh, use my rotate and move to get in position I can also use move to give a little bit of shape as well and rotate back a little bit Alright, I'll grab my move brush now and just grab a section right below the center of this disc and hold alt to uh, push in an area like this. And then I can push up a little bit as well. And you should be getting a bump back here. You can sort of pull that out too. And also we'll push in this area here. Okay, maybe I'll pull this part into the head a little bit, and I'll grab a little section here to pull out. And same thing down here. And now we can shape it more like an ear this part and everyone's ears are a little bit different some have some people have uh, bigger lobes or no lobes at all so keep that in mind Alright, once you have something like this, you are ready to uh, dynamish it to the head. I think I want to make it a little bit bigger though. So I'll just scale it up a little bit. And maybe rotate it back just to here. Okay, so now we can die mesh it to the head. I'm going to uh, up my die mesh resolution to 256. Alright, and I'm just going to polish it. And now I can start uh, some sculpting. So I'll grab my clay build up brush. And first thing I'm going to do is indent some areas by holding Alt. So I'll indent this area here. Just go ahead and push that in. And 
and I can continue this curve around the perimeter of the ear. And accent some areas. cut in this area as well cut in a little bump right here I'm just going to do some reshaping because right now it's, it's feeling a little bit too long. That's better. And again, just... It's going to have uh, a picture of an ear up for reference. I don't have any reference right now because I'm a bad sculptor. Should definitely have reference. Okay. And I'll accent this bump back here a little bit. Oops. I can pull a little bit too much here, so I'll just push that in. And I can grab my inflate uh, brush, not blush. If uh, this part's getting a little bit too thin, I can just inflate it. Okay, and this outside perimeter, you want to kind of fold over a little bit. With this resolution, it might be a little bit difficult to get that, so don't worry about too much. You can always see remesh and work from there. I'm just going to re-dye mesh, though, and smooth some things out a little bit. We'll continue this curve here all the way down here. It's okay to leave it a little rough at this resolution because the more uh, defined cuts that you have in, the better your measure will work with giving it proper topology. Alright, so I'm just going to go and see my shit and see what we get. That's not looking too bad. So Taking this method to sculpt ears gives you um, a more precise form of the ear. So when you start doing things like subsurface scattering, uh, you'll actually get that red glow coming through. Um, I found that a lot of times if I just try to sculpt it straight up, 
on the head like in my speed sculpting tutorial where I just pulled out some polygons and sculpted from there uh, you might not get the uh, thinness of the ear that you're looking for so this method just sort of makes that a lot easier so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video I'll be trying to make a lot more videos in the future so stay tuned for the next one